New Packers receiver Sammy Watkins believes that demons and aliens help him control people on the football field and win. If you go to a May 2020 Bleacher Report article, it was pretty bombastic at the time. You're going to see a long form interview with Sammy about his ability on the football field. He doesn't believe that he is possessed and he doesn't believe that he is controlled, but that they try to. And yet for moments on the football field, he believes he can use these unseen forces to actually control defenders, make them go one way and not the other way, to actually control himself. He can manifest his destiny by catching three touchdowns and 198 yards in a big game. He has that ability, he says. Now, Sammy's clear to say he's not demon-possessed, but he sees the unseen forces going around him. His own very public struggles with alcohol and drugs, and his crash from a big high draft pick to now a guy in a very limited contract. But that idea that, that I am in control, that if I can just tap into these spiritual forces, well, this is a mix of Christianity and Hinduism and Buddhism and Taoism and, and George Lucas and a whole lot of other things, but is it actually true? Is it actually true that you can claim Christian faith and yet some sort of manifestation power that you control everything else? Psalm 44. We have heard with our ears, O oh God, our fathers have told us what you did in their days, in days long ago. To be a Christian is to say that God is the hero and you're not. To be a Christian is to say God is in control and I'm not. To say that he is Lord and Savior and I am a weak, needy sheep who needs a shepherd. I understand the appeal. I understand the world we live in. So many people are talking into our ears and mixing all these different religious concepts that always make us the powerful one on the field or in the job or in the workplace or in life. And that, that sounds really good, but, but if you'll forgive me a little irony, if Sammy Watkins was able to do the things he claimed, I, I don't think he'd be in Green Bay on a minimum or close to minimum contract. I think he'd have millions upon millions and all the life he's wanted. The truth is we'd like to say that we're manifesting our destiny. Oh, that sounds great. Maybe get some claps online. But, but the honesty is a Christian faith is okay saying, I'm not Lord and Savior. I'm not the best. I've heard with your ears what you have done, how you have split the Red Sea and protected your people and done all these things. And that's good for me. I don't need to be the master of everyone on the football field. I just want to trust you as my Lord and Savior and see what you do for your people each and every day.